Welcome friends to Finance Working Mama. My name is Heather and thank you so much for joining me today. One of the reasons why I started this channel was to provide some encouragement to all the working moms and dads out there that are trying to raise their family, build a career, as well as maintain finances in their household. And that's the part that we all, even myself, we get guilty at times, is we work really hard on our kids, we work really hard in our careers, and the last thing we want to talk about is finances when we get home at the end of the day. And so I hope this channel supplies you some encouragement, some inspiration and ideas on how to maybe think about some of the things you're spending on and reallocate those dollars on other things that your family might need that's more important which means I always talk about the family budget and their groceries and going out, out to eat. And I actually did a video, which I'll link below, that talked about how much American families were actually spending on going out to eat on a monthly basis and then on an annually basis, which is quite a bit. I dug a little bit deeper and I wanted to see what it cost for someone to go out to eat, um, what Americans on an average would spend going out to eat on a breakfast level. So I did some research and um, I found a statistics testing that the U.S. Bureau of Labor performed and they sent out a huge survey. The respondents provided some data that was interesting about night on an average about $19 are spent weekly going out for breakfast now you might say well that's not so bad and it on the grand scheme of things that is the cheaper cheaper going out versus lunch and dinner dinner was the highest at $56 um, actually a week on an average so if you had to have something to eat outside the house, breakfast would be the cheaper option than lunch and dinner. I dug that down a little bit. Breakfast in my household, for my girls and myself, we don't get excited about breakfast. Um, we do like breakfast on the occasion, but it is not something that we jump up out of bed and let's go eat some breakfast. Now, however, my husband is a big breakfast eater. He, he considers that probably one of his favorite meals of the day. He would rather have a heartier breakfast and a much lighter lunch. And I have to keep that in consideration. He is more likely to go get breakfast through fast food or through a restaurant than lunch. How do I combat that, right? How do we save that $19 in this household from going out the door to a breakfast items at a fast food restaurant? And I wanted to accomplish two things. I started making him breakfast sandwiches and burritos a couple years ago because one, I found out he really, really enjoyed them. Two, I wanted to provide something that he really enjoyed in a much healthier way to enjoy it. And three, keep him out of the drive through So I thought today I would share with you some of the ideas that I come up with um, that provides that hearty breakfast that my husband really enjoys. But most importantly, it keeps them out of the drive through When I think about making breakfast sandwiches, I think about a couple things. One, when I'm shopping the sales every week, I look for items that would be great ingredients for a breakfast burrito or a sandwich. And I throw them in the cart because what's not better is to get things on sale. Second, I try to be creative in that. Like not make it the same thing that you would get at a restaurant, but make it taste better or yummier than what you could at a restaurant. And then the third and last thing is to make sure that it is a healthier item than they could get outside the door as well. Then I think about preparation. Preparation is important because I don't want to spend all day or even really more than 20 minutes cooking and preparing all these sandwiches. So I try to, I try to make it easy for me. And I cook the eggs all in one time in the oven. And I'm sure you guys have seen it, but this is really a good little hack because all you have to do is crack the eggs you need, the amount that you need. You season it the way you would like today using Slap Your Mama. It's one of my husband's favorite seasonings. And I add a little milk, cream, uh, half and half, whatever I have in the fridge. 
I whisk it really well, and then I pour it into a greased casserole dish or container, and I put it in the oven for about um, 15 minutes. You, depending on your oven, you might want to set it for 10. If you open it up and it still jiggles in the middle, then you probably need five more. In this particular case, it did take 15 minutes uh, to cook. Now, once it's cooked, all I have to do is pull it out of the oven and I just slice it up in the number of slices I need. Today, I'm doing six muffins, so I need six eggs sliced up. And now it's time to assemble it, very easy. Cut up the uh, English muffins. You put the cheese in the egg, and then of course, most importantly, that delicious chicken turkey patty that I found at Butcher Box. Guys, these are delicious. It's a mail order meat delivery service. Um, you can do it once a month or many months, depending on what you want. But I found this on a member deal, and it was $16 for 20 patties, and it was delicious. It is so delicious, and my husband loves it. Um, it is a chicken maple breakfast sausage. So 80 grams, I mean 80 calories for three grams of fat, not bad for a breakfast sandwich. I wrap these things up guys and all I do is um, immediately put it in the freezer. It makes for a delicious, delicious breakfast sandwich. Now, this all cost me for eight sandwiches. It took me about, um, is $8.61, which brings to $1.43 for each sandwich. Now McDonald's sells theirs, their sausage egg McMuffin for $4.29. So friends, that is a total savings of $2.86. And one, it is so much better than the McMuffins at McDonald's. Two, it is cheaper, but three, it is healthy. And it's different, and that's what it's about, and it didn't take me any time to put together. When I'm thinking about making breakfast sandwiches or burritos because my stock is running low in the freezer, I just don't always just go to the freezer and pick out items um, that I have to use. I check out the refrigerator because there's always, in some cases, some gems in there that I could use to make breakfast sandwiches or burritos. For instance, today I took a look in there and I found some great ones. There are some mushrooms that I needed to use, and I also had a purple onion that was on its last little leg that needed to be used as well. Aroma tomato, and the best, the best gem is I found a half of a sirloin steak that wasn't eaten, that needed to be eaten, because who wants to waste steak? And that is what I decided to do and cook up for these breakfast burritos. Some people ask how many eggs I'm putting in burritos, and I typically put more in than the burritos. So today I'm making eight burritos, but I'm gonna put nine, maybe 10 eggs in. These are large eggs, so I believe I actually cracked nine eggs. Um, I'm also going to put some seasoning salt um, instead of the slap your mama, which is what I usually put in, but I'm changing up a little bit today. And I did do some heavy whipping cream because I had it in the fridge doing a little salt and a little pepper. And we'll mix this up really well. As they say with the whipping cream, if you haven't watched my other video, uh, you wanna do the whipping cream and incorporate in the egg really, really well because it does make it nice and fluffy. And I think that'd probably be a good taste into that burrito. I'm going to oil the pan. I'm gonna start sauteing the mushrooms and onions, the purple onions that I found in the crisper that needed to be used. What a great find. Like I said, you always check your refrigerator to see what needs to be used up and if it would be great for maybe another meal. Today, it's going to be a breakfast burrito, but that could go with anything um, when you're cooking in the kitchen for lunches or dinner. But today, these mushrooms and onions are gonna be great in this breakfast. Uh, burrito. I think this is the first time I've ever have made him um, a steak burrito, uh, egg burrito. So I think he's going to be excited. I'm not going to tell him. I'm just going to put it in the fridge and see what he says. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in there because why not? 
it just sounds delicious to have mushrooms, onion, and garlic. And as you can see, I'm also going to probably salt and pepper it a little bit to give it some a little additional flavor as well. Probably not so much salt because I've already salted using the seasoned salt and pepper in the egg. So I don't want to make it too salty. Now I'm going to add the uh, tomatoes to this. This is one Roma tomato that I found in the fridge that really needed to be used up as well. I did take the, um, when I sliced the tomato up, I did take some of the seeds out so it wouldn't have the seedy sliminess that sometimes the seeds and Roma tomatoes have. So I did take the seeds out. I'm going to saute the tomato just a little bit and then there is the sirloin. Now that looks like a lot of steak. It's probably three ounces of sirloin steak. I just cut it up in really small pieces because who, who wants to have large pieces of steak in a burrito when you're trying to eat it. So I did dice them up pretty small and um, so it does look like a lot but really truly it was like three ounces. And it's sirloin. It was a lean um, piece of beef. So it's a lot healthier than probably a sausage or pork sausage um, and my husband absolutely loves beef steak is his most favorite thing in the world it's actually mine too me and him and the kids we are huge steaks people so I hope you guys enjoy this now obviously I added the egg in there and this is a lot of eggs and there's a lot of stuff in this pan so it's gonna take probably a little bit for it to set up so I'm just gonna let it sit there and um, fix up so that way we can get it nice and scrambled. Some people ask why I might put a little bit more eggs in um, a burrito versus the breakfast sandwiches because if I ate if I make six uh, breakfast sandwiches I usually use six eggs. Um, in this case the reason why is because I'm scrambling it and for some reason I feel like if you do eight burritos and use eight eggs I feel like that because it's scrambled the eggs aren't really distributed evenly for some reason but when you make those breakfast sandwiches of course and I put them in the bowl and put them in the oven to cook I can cut them up and I feel like it's more eggs are more evenly proportioned when you cook them in the oven versus when you scramble them so that's why I use a little bit more egg in my burritos it might be over to uh, overdone but anyway y'all it is what it is so I'm just going to use a little bit more eggs in the burritos for sure now right here I am portioning them out so that way when I start putting the burritos together because um, I'm doing eight it's a little bit easier for me to just scoop out of the pan instead of me having to make sure I have certain portions in there it's just easier so I'm portioning out about eight little sections um, in the pan so that I can easily just scoop it out and make the burritos. It makes the process so much easier. And as you can see, it's a bit of a challenge. It's hard. Because goodness, you're like, okay, is that enough? Um, I did, but I, I learned my lesson. I tried to do this without doing this portion and I end up putting too much egg in the burritos and then not being able to make eight. Uh, instead, I only made like six or seven. So uh, do yourself a favor and portion them out before you start assembling. So I had some pepper jack cheese at the bottom of my cheese drawer. And um, I think I had like seven pieces. So I sort of split them up and put them in the eight burritos. So as you can see, it is a burrito with a little bit of cheese slice that I found in the pepper jack. I assemble them and it is about eight. It is definitely eight. Now I did find different size tortillas in my bread box that need to be used. I have some I use that were medium and like right there, I am using like a larger one. So <laughs> if you're wondering like those are different size tortillas. I'm using up what I have um, as I call them misfits, the ones that haven't been used and for some reason won't be used because it's like the last one in the package. You guys have family members like that? That's my family. If it gets one in the package then they don't touch it. It's like you can't. There you go. So there's eight. Eight wrapped tortillas ready for the freezer.
All right, I'm gonna round out um, this series of making breakfast sandwiches and burritos with my last burrito choice. I have some leftover, about a half of a bell pepper, and some other items that I used earlier in the week that I feel like if I don't use them, I'm probably gonna lose them <laughs> because next week I haven't put them in my meal plan. So this is a great opportunity for me to utilize those items, get them used up, and put them in something that we're going to partake in later. All right, these are all the items that I found in the fridge that's going to make these burritos. All right, guys, I have some olive oil at the bottom of this pan. I've got some diced, um, the rest of that bell pepper, and one jalapeno and the rest of that onion. I have chopped up. Those soften. Put them at medium heat because I don't want them to cook too fast. I want them to take time and soften up so it will be like um, a crunchy burrito or a soft burrito. A little salt, a little pepper. Of those turkey um, smoked sausage or kielbasa's. So get those warm through a little bit. All right, these are ten eggs with a little bit of half and half. My husband loves this. Slap your mama. You put that in there. It has like red peppers, red pepper, um, I think some garlic, some onion powder, salt. I think that's somewhat of the makeup of Slap Your Mama. It's like a Cajun. Blend. But he really likes it. Actually, I enjoyed using it as well. Okay, so just recap remember, I did the rest of the bell pepper diced, which was about half of a red pepper. Bell pepper, sorry, green bell pepper. Then I used one whole. I jalapeno that I seeded and took the veins out, diced that up, and then the rest of that onion, which was a small, probably half of a small onion that I had left, and then I also took one of the turkey, kielbasa, butterball links, diced that up. And ten eggs, this is what we're cooking up for our burritos. set up a little bit. Alright, that looks about right. Look at that. Friends, so my husband told me the other day that I should wrap these in parchment paper because sometimes the burritos, when they thaw out from the freezer, it um, the lemon foil will stick to it. So, this time I'm going to do wrap them up in parchment paper. See if that's a little bit better. I am hoping that this will do eight. Usually it does. I did the bigger burritos this time versus the medium. So we'll see. Okay. I don't put the... Um, in the egg scramble because I feel like it just it sticks to the pan more than it does the eggs. So I add the shredded cheese when I roll them up.
wrap around the back. Alright, let's look at this. Eight delicious burritos. All ready for the freezer. I'll probably leave a couple out for my husband for the week. Okay, y'all, I am in the process of heading to McDonald's, the Mickey D's, to get a sampling of their burritos. I wanted to do a little taste test um, with my husband to see, he doesn't know I'm going to Mickey D's, he thinks I'm going to Aldi, which I am, but I'm also picking up some burritos. I'm going to see, what. well for one, I'm going to put a blind test t taste test, I'm going to make just burritos and I'm going to ask him, here, try these, try this one and try this one, which one's your favorite? And we're gonna see what he says. Guys, I can't tell you the last time I even bought breakfast at McDonald's because once they stop uh, selling the country ham biscuit, I'm like, I'm going across the street biscuit deal. I, I, that was just a terrible decision. If you're gonna have a McDonald's in the South, you have to have country ham biscuit. I mean, that's just, I feel like that's just unsubtle not to serve a country ham biscuit. Okay, here we go. Hey, Patricia, um, Madonna, are you doing mobile today? No, ma'am. Okay. No, I'm not using mobile. What can I get for you? Can I get a number seven, the two burritos? Is with... that number seven? Yes. Now, what's the drink? Diet Dr. Pepper. Nine dollars and six cents, and that's the meal. That's a drink and the hash brown, I guess, and the two burrito bis a two burrito biscuits, the two burritos, and it's sausage egg. Thank you, ma'am. You too. Thank you. Have a good one. Y'all, I didn't get the, the, the coffee. I got a Diet Dr. Pepper. Mmm. It's goodness. Oh. That is goodness. It tastes so much better coming out of fountain. Give me a thumbs up if y'all agree. But a diet or really any soda drink comes with a fountain. Fountain. Mm. All right. Who thinks he's gonna like the McDonald ones? I can tell you they look skinnier. They feel skinnier. So it'll be interesting. Okay, folks, so I'm gonna put it on the plate the one I got from McDonald's, the sausage egg bur burrito, and then I'm gonna put one that I made on the same plate. I'm gonna see which one he likes the best without really telling him anything. So we'll see what he says. So this one is the Mickey D one. And this one is the Heather. They're definitely, this one's much lighter, which is the uh, Mickey D's. This one's much heavier. Let's stick the egg back in there. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Let's see which one he's gonna like. Mine. Mickey D's. Hey, Edgar. Yeah. 
Come here. I need you to taste some burritos for me. Okay. And tell me which ones you like the best. Which one you like best? Are you making a YouTube video? Are you making a YouTube video? How this can one. You... Which one? This one. Really? Which? Why do you like that one better? Because of the peppers and the flavoring of it. <laughs> what was wrong with the other one? Nothing was wrong with it. This one just tastes better. Just tastes better? Mm-hmm. That's the one I made. And the other one is the one that Mickey D makes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> has more in it. That's why it tastes better. It has more in it. Mm-hmm. All right. Edgar Roo. Edgar Roo likes mine. <laughs> but you're going to finish it anyway, right? Yes. So let's go back to what I originally said earlier. Um, buy things on sale. Utilize the things that you have in your pantry. It's always a good idea to, as you're shopping, when you find bacon on sale, turkey bacon on sale, even deli meat like ham and turkey, when you find those items on sale, um, buy them, put them in the freezer and have them ready for instances that I need to use up maybe some veggies or some uh, different proteins or cheeses. Making burritos or breakfast sandwiches or breakfast items to use up things that you have that need to be used is a great opportunity. The other reason why I do like to make these breakfast sandwiches and burritos is not only for my husband to enjoy during the week, but also when we travel, it's a great option to have on hand. We have family in Michigan and we have family in Florida, and it's really nice to have warm sandwiches, warm burritos to eat while we're on the go. We don't have to rely on fast food places or restaurants. What I do is there are containers that you can find on Amazon, and if I can find the ones that I use, I'll link them below. But they have the gel-like um, packet that you can put in the microwave and heat it up and you can use one or you can use three. I have a small little lunchbox that I use and when I we're going on a tri trip, I will heat up those um, packets that are meant for the microwave. I'll heat a couple of those up. I will heat up the breakfast sandwich or the burrito and I will put it in that container, the um, the bag with those warming elements and it stays warm for a good number of hours. So when it's time for maybe a midday breakfast snack or even lunch, it still keeps the items warm and it's a whole lot yummier than eating something from a fast food restaurant. All right, so that leaves my husband about 28 or 30 breakfast sandwiches or burritos uh, for the next several, probably month. Now I've got a couple variety in the refrigerator for him to have. I usually put out three or four for him to grab during the week and he doesn't eat them every day. He evaluates what his day looks like. If he's going to have a business lunch or even um, a, a heavier dinner, he will have a lighter breakfast. But if he knows that he's gonna have like just a pick up a sandwich or a quick salad for lunch, he's gonna have a heavier breakfast. So this gives him lots of variety and they are really tasty. As you can see, he tasted a few. He was pretty happy with them. And as he mentioned, it tastes better than McDonald's. And I say that is an accomplishment for itself. Not only are we eating healthier, but we're saving money at the same time. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me today. I hope you found something insightful and encouraging. And if you like what I provided, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Enjoy, you guys, and be safe and stay encouraged.